Hello and welcome to the Green Wisdom Health Show. I'm Janet Lewis. And I'm Dr. Lewis. And welcome to 2020, where we're going to educate you some more about things that we hope you want to hear about. (laughs) And uh, appreciate all the ones that have been listening and writing in questions. We have tons of those today. And we have titled this show, Exercising Consistent Health Habits. It was a toss-up between that and weight loss. So I think weight loss is coming in next week because Dr. Lewis has a Uh, Some very important uh, new things to talk about with weight loss. But this week, we're going to discuss how to have a consistent change with your health, not do the new year, new me, I'm done on January 14th type approach. So, Dr. Lewis, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what you want to tell people today about how to stay healthy, ideas that you have on ways to do that and little things that they might be able to make changes with. I've always got ideas, whether they're good or not. You people can be the judge. Uh, One thing I'd like to talk about is it's not what you know, it's what you do. So many people listen to podcasts or read books, but they don't do it. They, They gather knowledge, but they don't have action. If you don't have action... It's for nothing. For you know, faith without works is dead. So works being the key term. The other thing is you have to banish your fear and doubt, and you do have control over that. And some people they'll get on our supplements and say, "Well, since I started taking these, I've had this symptom or that symptom." Did the supplements cause it? Now, my answer to that is, how in the world do you think you can put good nutrients into the body that's smarter than we are out of our head? Your body will take it and do good with it. No, the supplements didn't cause that. When you've got a hundred and something thousand people a year dying from prescription drugs, don't question the validity of good supplements. Well, maybe that's the issue. It's good supplements. There are bad supplements out there, and maybe people have had experiences with bad supplements. Yeah, we've all had a bad wife or husband or something, too. But but our, our supplements are the upgraded good wife, good husband version. Yeah, well, don't get the answer. And I tell people, listen with a discerning spirit. If your heart tells you it's a good thing, jump on. Don't ever jump off. Don't get on a good program, whether it's ours or someone else's and then go to the internet and let the worldwide Dr. Webb or Dr. Google put fear or doubt in your heart. I've seen so many people, their health and their lives destroyed by fear and doubt. So forget that. Just find something, find the knowledge, find someone you want as a coach, even if it's not us, and stick with the program. It's that simple. And when you talk about good supplements, those of you that are new to our show, our our supplements we're talking about are not your walk into a health food store grade. They are pharmaceutical grade, which means they have been tested, retested, and don't sell to just the general public. So it's sold to a doctor only, and yep. then we're able to sell it to you. So when we are selling our supplements, they are things that Dr. Lewis has personally picked out that he considers a class A vitamin. Yeah, and you know, one lady says, well, I got my probiotic at Sam's, and I told her, and, and you know, I never try to be impolite, but some people take me as such. I said, if Sam's is the best you can do for vitamins, get a cold beer. And there are varieties of that as well. And she thought I was being rude. It's like, I wasn't meaning to be rude. I'm just saying, make a wise decision. And speaking of wise decisions, there are little things that you can do to make your life better starting this new year. As far as, you know, we talk about some of the same things over and over, but we thought we'd change it up a little bit. And uh, one thing you can do is experience the benefits of sex. I knew Dr. Lewis would like this particular one. She told me not to get rowdy, so I'm not saying anything. It actually has (laughs) health benefits. And one of them is that (laughs) one is that it can boost your immune system and reduce stress. And us men don't care. And for those of you that are unable to have sex, we have something called immune essentials. If you can't get to that particular uh, remedy (laughs) okay another one that you've not really heard of is keeping your teeth clean and i know you're going how is this helping me in the new year but actually diabetes low birth weight babies and heart disease have all been linked to gum and bone disease in your mouth even heart attacks have been linked to bad dental hygiene so dr liz can you tell us about why that is or how that correlates how we know a sign of 
whether we have um, you know nutritional problems going on based on our mouth. Yeah, if you brush your teeth and you know you have bleeding gums, then you have uh, fragile capillaries, if nothing else. Oh, I used to have that many years ago. When I was a teenager, I had that. And now I don't because I do the good supplements. It's amazing that they can actually heal later on. Yeah, you know, there's a lot, there's so many different places in the body that relate to or have reflex points, you know, to, to different parts. Like I have a little sore right now on my tongue. Janet looked it up. Miss Pancreas is like, I hadn't been stressing out with Pancreas. And she looked at me like I'd been hitting the bluebell again, which I have not, honey. Yeah. <laughs> but, He's been very good, actually. It was, it was hard to believe that he was. He having a blood sugar issue. I have trouble being good, so let's get on to the next one. Uh-huh. <laughs> Use the sun. You can actually go stand in the sunshine. I realize during the wintertime it's a little harder for some of us, but a little sunshine is good for your mood, and it allows your body to produce necessary vitamin D. And it does boost your vitamin D, but not as much as you should. And I just talked to a sweet lady uh, from Florida down close to Miami. And she was sent by Tara up in Jacksonville, Florida. And Tara's boyfriend says, but I'm in the sun all the time. My vitamin D, I think, was a 42. I said, well, that's better than 30, but it's not high enough. You have so many plastics and pesticides, et cetera. You can't really convert vitamin or sunlight to vitamin D like you should. And there's other factors there, like to your cholesterol being too low. It's actually 70% of American kids these days are lacking vitamin D. They'd have better behavior if they had a higher vitamin D because you're talking about higher resistance and, you know, higher detoxification pathways. So, On a kid, would you probably give them like a 1,000 milligram vitamin D? I think a 1,000. We've got that in a capsule, and we have some in drops. So you can put it in, you know, something or smoothie and hide it. And, and you can dose it real well because it's just a little bit per drop. And on an adult, probably a 5,000 vitamin D because you don't absorb all of that, right? I think I think uh, that's very important to start at 5,000. That usually takes about eight to 10,000 to get your vitamin D up as high as you should. And like Janet said, it's got a lot to do with how much your GI tract can absorb it. And most vitamin Ds on the market do not work. I've seen it statistically. It just, they don't cut it. Wow. And then the next thing that you can do for having a good new year is to drink less. And that does not mean water. <laughs> it means alcohol. People that drink two drinks a night might be something that healthy people do. But rather than the drinks being the cause of their good health, if you're having a couple more drinks a night than two, you're actually at a higher risk for liver damage and diabetes. Yeah, and it, it, it can increase your blood pressure, and it increases inflammation. I I'm, I talk about drinking all the time because I was raised Baptist, and they said I shouldn't, so therefore I have to because I can't be good very long. But I've always been a very, very light drinker and certainly don't do it every night. So that's in an attempt usually to decrease stress, and that goes back to how you handle things mentally spiritually and and you can always shortcut that by helping your stress we have the stress uh response that is oh it's kicked butt but we have another one called panathenic acid complex you know it's got the panathenic acid which helps rebuild the adrenal glands it has the cordyceps and eletherio and rhodiola it is good 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 i've had women says you well you know since you put me on this panathenic acid complex my husband's easier to get along with yeah, well, I like the immune essentials, too. I know that's not really supposed to be for stress, but it has adaptogenic herbs in it that have really helped me with stress, and it's helped me with uh, respiratory issues this year. She said I was easier to get along with when she was taking that. So. Yeah, I don't know. I love that new that uh, new immune essentials. Yeah, a lot of people do. The other thing you can do that is free is wash your hands. And hand washing remains the best prevention against the flu and many other diseases. And I know women are a little bit better about washing their hands than some men. Uh, Yeah, in a public restroom, you need to assume about three out of four men did not wash their hands. Mm -hmm. Because I've had so many microbiology courses, it's like, holy God, wash your hands. And now you're coughing on them and you're still not washing your hands. And it's like... Uh, be careful who you shake hands with. I just try to avoid that altogether. <laughs> Get some rest. And hopefully you did that during the holiday. We had so much time off. All of us had so much rest. We didn't know what to do with it anymore. Yeah, right. uh, 
but a serious lack of sleep, less than six or seven hours a night, has been associated with increased risk of high blood pressure, hypertension, obesity, diabetes, and cancer. And then lack of sleep can also contribute to auto accidents because you're not paying attention anymore and on-the-job injuries. So sleep, you know, what can you do for sleep? We actually have a product here that we can't put online because... We can't put it online, <laughs> but uh, if you are having sleep issues and want a good way to sleep, I can give tell you what the product is if you call our office or email me. I'll and we happy. have Hub HTP, and we have different types of melatonin, and we have the product Janet's talking about. Great. Uh, call us. Yep, call us. Um, the other thing you can do is to stop smoking, and I know people don't that smoke don't like hearing this, but it is super hard to get someone well that is a smoker. And about half of all smokers die from smoking. And of all these, about half die around the age of 50 or sooner. And I always hear people, when we tell them that, they're like, well, so what? I died. Well, what if you don't? If you don't die and someone's having to take care of you from now on and you're not having quality of life either and can't smoke, uh, that's not a good thing either. Well, you have to have a good attitude because I was talking to a friend of mine a couple of days ago. He says, well, I have this and this and this and this. And I said, well, that means this and this. And he said, well, what do I do about it? I said, those supplements you said you cannot afford. And he's much younger than me, and he's already you know, disabled, you know, mostly by his own doing. I said, well, you say you can't afford to get well, but you don't have any problem buying a 30-pack of Coors Light every day and drinking it. And he said, well, it tastes good. Well, duh, don't let your taste buds take you down the road to premature death. It's and dying's not a sin, but not being able to live while you're here is a sin, in my opinion. Good point. You need to be exercising. People don't like hearing that, although they've all signed up at the gym. So doesn't sex qualify as exercise? No, I think just buying the gym membership for the year is is good enough. <laughs> well, uh, you get raped, but that's not a good thing because you're not going to use it. You're spending your money for nothing. Oh, never mind. Some people work out. Yeah, some work out. Uh, <laughs> if you just go walking, you know, walking is free. You yeah, get start. a dog. We got Sadie May in here. We get much more exercise because we walk her. That is true. She requires uh, us walking her, and it's made us be more healthy because we have to go walk her. Because she's a high-maintenance female, and I, did, I was not used to that because Janet's really low-maintenance. Well, I think once your kids are grown, it's like, <laughs> yeah, well, we don't have to go do anything anymore. And then you start getting really sedentary and lazy. So having a dog again has kind of kept us motivated to get out and exercise, which we feel better from. Well, I don't know about motivation. I'd just rather her poop outside than in the RV. Hmm, good point. And <laughs> we have all know that we're supposed to be eating better. We're all trying to figure out what that perfect diet is for eating better. Don't go by your taste buds. And, you know, just totally. make, make little changes. You don't have to change yep. every meal. Mm -hmm. Just start eating at better times of the day, not at 10 o'clock at night. The intermittent fasting, which is kind of a phase, there is really some good science to back that up as to being very beneficial. And eat raw vegetables. Actually, raw vegetables will help you a lot as well with your digestive system. Yeah, it's exercise. It's chewing that broccoli and cauliflower up. It does seem to take a long time to do that, doesn't it? <laughs> Um, as far as not, you know, a lot of people are telling us, well, it's just genetic. I have a real problem with, uh, with lifestyle changes. You know, I, I can't eat this or that. You know, I was just raised to eat this way. Um, that's an excuse. Yeah. You're a grown person. You can make good choices. You don't have to be captive to your genes. So there are very, there's easy things that you can do to change your genetic expression and one of them is try to stop eating a lot of the sugar and the fast foods, and that includes the diet drinks. That is not your friend. Sugar actually really boo-boos the white blood, blood cells and lowers your immune system. And it has a lot to do. Um, it, you can actually block the mutation of the intestinal cells that lead to cancer. You can block them and block them by good probiotics, and that is research, folks. That's not me. Yeah, actually, the new ProBioLean that we have has made a big difference on cravings because many times you're eating those sugary things, yep. and it's your body actually craving a nutritional, something nutritional, and you don't know the difference, so you just go eat more sugar, and you never give it a chance to, act to actually get better. 
Um, you know, just cutting out the fast food is a big deal. I know Dr. Lewis and I have really been working because he's gone gluten free now. And so I'm eating gluten free with him as that, well. That means no beer. Yeah, so when means, I talk about beer, I'm just teasing. It means eating a lot of just, you know, lean meats and vegetables. And, uh, and I feel better. Right. And we went to a fast food restaurant one night while we were gone on our holiday and ate that late at night. And the whole next day, it was like somebody had drugged us. And and you don't realize how much of an impact that has on your health until you stop it for a while and then go have that meal again because it really you really will get a sense of, oh, I know exactly what meal did that. Where mm-hmm. right now you're just bombarding yourselves over and over and you have no clue what's doing it, so you just keep doing it. And we lost a lot of mental clarity also. Didn't just yes. feel bad. No energy. We couldn't think straight. It's amazing how much that affects um, everything. But which diseases can your lifestyle help prevent? Here's just a short list. (laughs) Cancer. Most everything. mm -hmm, Heart disease. Diabetes. Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. High blood pressure. We got some new things for brain health, too. I mean, some good kick, but, oh, my God, rebuild the brain stuff. And hormonal imbalances. We all have those because the plastics and pesticides act like female hormones. That's why men have low testosterone. Yeah, and then one of the other things that you can do, and I want Dr. Lewis to just briefly touch on it. We're going to probably do a whole show on it. Um, is something about optimizing your insulin and leptin levels. You know, we all know about insulin. Insulin has got to do with blood sugar. You know, on our lab panel, when we run it, we run insulin and an A1C because your A1C is your three-month blood sugar, tells us what you've been doing. And we have young people that pass that look great, but their insulin levels are too high, which tells us you're eating real incorrectly and you keep this up, you're burning up the pancreas and at some point you'll wind up being a diabetic and that a1c will go high so it's kind of a a flag you know a little flag before you actually become a diabetic but leptin levels we don't really hear so much about and dr lewis can tell us a little bit about that and then because that's all i know (laughs) <laughs> and then explain if it you have, on a different show. Yeah, if you have high insulin, you have high leptin. Leptin is actually produced by your fat cells, and that's the one that makes you feel satisfied in what you eat. So if you have leptin resistance or high leptin, you're going to be overweight and can't can't lose. Uh, then there's something called ghrelin. Uh, it's, I guess you'd call it the hunger hormone. So whenever your stomach gets empty, it releases the ghrelin and sends a message to your brain, uh, hypothalamus. Hypothalamus is really, really important, kind of like the hippocampus, you know, all those big words. But Well, I know with leptin levels, it's like the higher amount of fat intake that you have, the lower your leptin is. So yeah. um, you actually will have weight loss. And I, and that's I know, why keto works. Yeah, and that's also why our liquid fish oil works. It it. When you take one teaspoon of our liquid fish oil, it's like taking four of the capsules that we have. But so you, Janet does, too. Yes. If you do two teaspoons, it actually starts the fat burning process. And so, she's a little bitty thing. It's not that she knows it. It's that she does it, folks. And and I've actually lost three pounds so far just doing that. I if really she, wasn't trying. And if she lost 10, she'd be skinny as heck. So she doesn't need to lose any weight. But life rewards action folks think about that life rewards action i think it was benjamin franklin said something like well done's better than well said it's good <laughs> and uh i'm gonna now that we're all healthy now for the whole new year and we know what to do and motivated we're going to get to some of these questions i'm not sure i'll be able to get them all this week and we will pick them up next week if we missed out and if you're wondering well, how do you send questions um these came in off of our um greenwisdomhealth.com page when you're first on there it'll ask you if there's any questions you'd like to have answered for the podcast and um, people have written in there we've also got a shooting straight with dr lewis facebook group that there's a lot of interaction going on there so some of the questions came from there so if you want to ask a question do it either way there, and we'll address it on the air, possibly. So I, I have an idea, and I want your feedback on this. If you start getting so many questions, 
I'll do a second podcast every week. Janet, need an eye roll on that one. I'll do a second podcast and call it Rumor Has It. Just answering questions. And we're about to that point. So y'all keep them coming because if it makes you healthier, I'm all in. Yep. I think we can start educating people a little bit more about the different products and what they do. So they're a little more informed and then they'll be able to speak to others a little bit more intelligently. These questions are like Dr. Lewis shooting from the hip. And I do that real well. Right. Because I have not told him some of these he's he already has seen and then some he hasn't. So this can be a it's going to be very interesting to hear um his answers stump stump the redneck right (laughs) (laughs) that's a good segment too stump the redneck doctor stump dr redneck i like that uh this this first question comes from rebecca about her dog yep and we know all about those um hers is getting up there in age and the vet recommended glucosamine and fish oil yep and our vitamins and supplements have her the humans there feeling young again so she's wanting to know if we have any recommended brands for her jethro we know that liquid fish oil i told you about one i give my dog that a little bit on the um, food uh, sadie may loves it just so our fish oil is really really good anti-inflammatory but janet she's gonna have to answer this because i don't know the brand that she gives to sadie may i actually get a product called it's the vetri science brand yeah uh, a lot of the uh, veterinarians uh, carry it. Um, if you're interested in it, Rebecca, I can give you a link where you could order it directly under us because um, we don't carry it here in the store, but I do buy it. It has glucosamine in it. And um, our our little Sadie Mae that is two years old, little miniature Schnauzer, has been taking them ever since um, she was, you know, since we've had her, which was about three months old, we started giving her that. I also, um, they're also very prone to having digestive disorders. Yeah, pancreatitis, which is serious. Yes, and we have a, um, I give her a very specialized probiotic that's for sensitive stomachs. And then I also feed her the primal dog food because it is amazing when you take them off of the hard dog food that all of the stores sell, the grain-free even, um, yeah, but the grain free usually has sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, and just yeah. English peas. I've I've never seen a dog yet but dig up a potato and eat it. Yeah, and our dog was not happy with that because we originally started her on one of the really good ones that you see in the store, and um, she had bad colon problems. And we take her in the RV, and she she had bad problems a bit vetri science vetri science and we can help you get it if you yeah, like and that's the probiotic also and if you can afford to feed your dog the primal food it is well worth it it's the frozen uh real food yeah raw yeah so thank you for that question kelly has a question about have you ever heard of or read research linking eating disorders to SIBO? I heard a podcast on it this week, and it was very interesting. Yes, yes, yes. It it goes back to probiotics. And, you know, Janet gives me a lot of different probiotics, and it's changed my taste buds where I don't even care. Well, that, you probably need to tell people what SIBO is. It's S-I-B-O, small intestine bacteria overgrowth, which most of us have because we're too full of yeast because of the GMOs and the, the antibiotics in our chicken and beef. And yes, Kelly, thank you for your referrals. I guarantee you the lady and her husband you just sent in are going to be as sweet as you. And I love that little Alabama accent. It's like uh, sipping sweet tea. But yeah, if you get uh, the wrong bacteria, yes, they crave all kinds of bad stuff. If you get the right bacteria, you quit craving that. And, you know, there's books about that, you know, skinny gut diet, 10% human. There's some other ones that are way, way more technical. But yes, probiotics 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 and then i've got big john that's doing a scoby with our probiotic lean and we're going to see how that works because he's the kombucha expert and the SIBO, um that um the probiotic we have in the jar the saccharomyces yep that is huge for that mm-hmm. and it's oh absolutely and it's super strong that's why we have it in the jar it's uh it's way better than taking the little saccharomyces boulardii capsules yeah, stronger. Yeah. Okay, and so thank you, Kelly. And Gary asked a question about can he get the lab panel completed through the VA and have the results sent to us? 
And uh, I think Gary's referring to the low-cost lab work that we do. And, again, if you're new to our show, we uh, run lab work across the United States. Our minimum panels are 12, and uh, we do that so that we're not guessing at what's going on with your health. And we do not involve insurance, and that is why we can do it that inexpensively. And that also, with that panel of 12, it includes Dr. Lewis's uh, con- consultation and a functional medicine report and supplement recommendations. So I'm thinking Gary would like to get the lab panels done at the VA. So what are your comments about that? Well, number one, I've never seen the VA do anywhere close to what was necessary and appropriate, and I'm sorry for that. But what happened was that since I really do try to do this where people can afford just to buy the supplements, People inundated me with all sorts of half, um, sorry. um, Lesser panels. Lesser panels, sorry. Um, No, I'm not. That's just the way I am. They inundated me with lesser panels, and basically it took up my time, which is my biggest limiting factor, and, of course, I didn't get paid for it. And so if you've got a good big panel, yeah, I do charge people a little bit to go over it, like Kelly, and Kelly was just thrilled, but... um, well, Generally, it takes, it's a bad idea, and it's not going to work. It takes a long time for you to put that all together. Yeah. and then So be respectful of the time. It don't get any less expensive than the way we do it, and that's the bottom line. Now, I appreciate the question, but it, it will not work. I've been here 35 years. I've never seen it work that way. Well, the issue is by the time you're done and put that all together, you still don't have enough information. It really cheats the, yeah. the person trying to get the information because you can't tell them what – you could have told them if they had the whole panel. So they're you're trying to go on a trip with half a map and half the map you need that's missing. Oh, that's good. Good analogy. I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> but thank you for the question. Uh, so, and uh, <laughs> I got the look on that one. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, Jonathan that said, "Hey, Doc, Happy New Year. My 22 year old son has had severe dizziness and balance issues since September of 19." I'm sorry to hear that, Jonathan. I know he has had a bad time. Um, He had to drop out of college. It was so bad. After many tests, doctors, etc., no answer as of yet. Looks like Meniere's disease, but no one really knows. Any suggestions would be helpful. I weep for my son's inability to do anything. You and Janet are great. Thanks from Jonathan in New Mexico. As I'm in tears crying over here. Please help him. Uh, Jonathan in New Mexico, I just love, love, love hearing from him. He's kind of like Kelly in Alabama. Y'all are cheerleaders, and thank you because we need the positive reinforcement. And, and Jonathan said, keep God in the podcast. Just like, well, I ain't smart enough to do it without him. But Meniere's is a really, really tough one, me being a chiropractor. I've had some pretty good success with very specific upper cervical adjustments. Sometimes you have to do cranial work, so find a good chiropractor that knows that. As far as supplements, a good vitamin E, and yes, we've got them. There's a big difference in the good and the bad and the average. And uh, nice and sustained release or time released can work real well. We do have things like our Cusertin bromelain that is a very good anti-inflammatory. Our turmeric complex could possibly work real well. And I have a couple of active cases here in Longview going right now. And I, one guy in particular, I've sent him all over the country to all sorts of different doctors, and he said the adjustments and the supplements work better than anything he's ever done, and it's still a tough, tough road. But he can get over it if a sick body produced it. Have faith that a healthy body in the right direction can heal your son. So we hope he gets better soon, Jonathan. If we can help, let us know. Yeah, I miss hearing from you. Call yeah. me. And Donna... She just want to say hi. She has to say that she loves our podcast. You ask in your last podcast to hear from people living in other countries who are listening. I'm from Canada, and everything is covered in a sheet of ice, and we're stuck inside. It's going to be really hard for her to get sunlight, isn't it? Extra vitamin D. <laughs> My question is, what are your thoughts on evening primrose oil? Love, love, love evening primrose oil. Um, I'm sorry, I, I'm throwing my two cents in here. <laughs> I started taking it to help with hot flashes in my skin, but I can't get up to a decent dose due to it causing me diarrhea. That is so weird. 
Is there well, a con- that, that may be lack of proper digestion and the poor functioning gallbladder and the bile not ah. coming through. So digestive enzymes. Do you want to know if that was a com- uh, common side effect? And- well, for people that can't digest the fats and oils, yes, it, it really is. And I don't know that this is true, Donna, and this is one of the questions I didn't know anything about. But I don't know if it's true, but I've heard rumors that we might actually get to where we can ship to Canada. Yes, we're pretty excited about that. And I have one for hot flashes specifically called Flash Ease. Um, and it's a combination of some different herbs. And, and I have a lot of happy men because their wife's taking it. Yeah, we also it have <laughs> we also have a, a progesterone that really works on the hot flashes also. And mm-hmm. I, I think you commented something about seeing a functional medicine doctor about progesterone. The, the topical skin cream one really doesn't cut it. Mm, um, it's good, but there's things that are way better. Yes, we have a liquid one that is fantastic. So... Um, so call me, I'll talk to you. Yes, and I'm sorry about your primrose oil. I've not heard of that happening on ours at all. So Digestive enzymes. That's, that's interesting. And we still have some more questions that we're not going to be able to get to this week, but we will address them on the next show, and please send us more. We love answering these. And we appreciate you guys so much. Uh, we enjoy hearing from you. Frank, we really appreciate the coffee that you sent us from California and the apricots, we will enjoy them very much. We appreciate you thinking of us. And, and Frank's one of the smart ones. He's He started with us years ago, and he's still doing it. Consistency's the key. So, you know, I sent Frank my last jar of honey. And, Lord, when you give to good people, it comes back multiplied. So thank you, Frank. Yes. And if uh, you want to start feeling better today and you're wanting to start a new year and you don't know how to accomplish that, Go to our website, greenwisdomhealth.com. Fill out the health survey. It will recommend you a lab panel. You can purchase it there online, or Dr. Lewis will call you if you're not comfortable with that, and he can discuss any kind of health issues that you have. Again, thank you for listening to us. Please keep sending the questions. You guys have a blessed week. It's a wonderful life. Just put a little effort in, and it can be better and better and better. I appreciate you very, very much. Thank you. Once again, our show has come to an end, but your hope in your health is only beginning. If you or a loved one are in need of a different outcome and are waiting for a brighter future, take the first step and go to our website and fill out the health survey. Please don't keep us a secret. If you know someone that could benefit from this podcast, please share this show with your friends and family. You're only one step away from a life worth living.